Smash those reds holding you back from going for your dreams. Hey guys, I do apologize if my camera cuts out at any moment in time. I'm going to try my best to say this quickly. And um, I might film later because I do have a lot of storage pulled up on my phone right now. Um, but I'm going to try, I'm trying something new. So I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to keep my health in check and stuff. And I know I don't necessarily need to, but I am capable of gaining weight that I do know. I'm capable of gaining fat. There's like, there are times like I've shown you before, like I didn't lose that much weight and stuff there. But like, I did show you like what my body looked like. I gave you, it was that process of what it, like, it was like good and bad. That was my fault. So I'm going to try this where I actually looked up an article where Apparently this one specific individual discovered um, ACV plus keto is what helps with it, what helps aid weight loss. But in my opinion, in order to follow through with that, because keto is very, very strict, but I'm also a vegetarian, so I have to be very conscientious of what I'm choosing to eat and choosing to put in my body. And so right now, what I wanted to try was an avocado hummus ranch sandwich with the veggie meat that I have. And a lot of my stuff that I actually eat is actually really, really low in carbs, surprisingly. Like, this, I like light life, and I want to know where your bologna style went, because I love your bologna style, since it tasted like salami to me. Um, I would love to know where that went. Please bring it back. I hope it's not discontinued, but please bring it back. Um, because right now it's just turkey that I have. Um, out of the light life brand, because I do love this brand, but I like their bologna style. Yes, the first time I tried their bologna style, it tasted like salami to me. Because I think I did tell you that way before I went vegetarian, I actually did eat meat. And I, so I knew what salami tasted like, but it didn't taste like bologna, which was funny, but I didn't mind it. And so I have these, and this has, for the serving size, which is actually really good. It's not bad. It says per serving for the carbs. There's only three grams of carbs in this. But I keep forgetting how much protein that my items have, despite the fact that vegetarians only need 10% of protein in their daily diet. What they really need is more fruits and vegetables than anything else. Um, the only thing that's not low in carbs right now is the hamburger buns that I have. You know, it's one of the bun packages that I that are lower in carbs than most other packages because the package, package that I have has 28 grams of carbs in it. And that one, um, all other brands have like between 30 or more grams of carbs. So there's that. And I actually found this. This is actually really, really good. I'm surprised that it's really good. I haven't tried the apple cider vinegar thing yet, so I'm still, I think that's more for the morning. Um, and yes, I know apple cider vinegar is disgusting. That's what ACV stands for. I didn't know that at first. And right to this. I tried it for the first time because I was curious and I did not even use a whole package in water. This is delicious, by the way. Um, it is. I literally have my little cup of tea, kind of. Well, yeah. It says peach mango green tea. I'm a sucker for mango stuff, so there's that. I'm going to make my sandwich, show it to you guys, and hopefully it'll be good. Peace out. Just wanted to point that out. The thing is, you have to be very, very consistent and have to be able to follow through with it. So, I'm probably not going to follow through for the entire month. But, like, technically, people, if you follow through with apple cider vinegar plus keto, um, you should be okay. But the article I read, it says that there are some side effects. There's, like, your body's not used to it, basically. You can experience dizziness. You can experience, like, three other things that I don't remember. I have to look that up. I have it bookmarked on my computer of, like, what the side effects could be. So there are people out there that can experience dizziness, especially if they're not used to the keto diet. So start out slow first and then work your way. And that's what I'm doing. But most of the stuff that I already eat as a vegetarian are generally low in carbs because I knew, like, low-carb stuff could help with that. And the bread that I have is actually this brand that I like. There's different kinds. Not all of their flavors are going to have the same amount of carbs, but they're usually pretty consistent where this bread has 13 grams of carbs, but that's for one slice of bread. That's just for one slice. So, like, for example, if, you have, if you're eating two slices like I am, you got to double that. So, like, 13 plus 13 or 13 times 2, both add up to 20. Not add up. But the sum of it, both, both of them equal 26 grams of carbs. So, yeah. There's that. And, yes, I am tracking it. Just... That's what you're supposed to do anyways. And that's what I'm planning on doing. So, see you guys later. Hopefully this turns out good. I'm praying it will. 
And actually, cheese isn't as bad as you think for being on a keto diet. But you have to figure out the proper diet for your own needs, if that makes sense. You have to figure out what's going to work for you. And if you can't, that's why people probably experience side effects if you don't know what works best for you. Like, for example, if you don't eat meat, I'm improvising with a bunch of other stuff. I actually have tofu in the fridge. Um, I don't know if that's okay for keto. I hope it is. <laughs> but see, I have a different kind of, I'm a different brand. So, like, let's see. Yeah, my tofu only has 3 grams of carbs in it. Protein is 9 grams. Uh, yeah, so, what's the fat? That's okay on it, but it's just, like, it's not that bad, actually. It's, like, 4.5 grams of total fat, and then there's only, like, half a gram of saturated Definitely be very careful with saturated fats. Um, but anyways, there's that. I'm going to make my sandwich. See you guys later. Peace out. Bye. Hey, guys. Sorry about that. I truly, truly apologize if you can't see my face. Hopefully you can. Um, I'm going to show you my sandwich now because I said I was going to show it to you guys. I already took a bite of it. It's actually not half bad. Not going to lie. Like, I don't mind. I usually use mayonnaise as a base. Ooh. The only thing is this is falling apart. So it's pretty messy. It's actually not half bad with avocado, hummus, and ranch as a base rather than mayo. Um, but yeah, this is what my sandwich looks like. Peace out. See you guys later. Bye. Cross, cross, cross the bridge on over the bravery.